Alright guys, welcome to part two. And uh, we'll up right where we left off. Uh, so right now we're heading into um, the town. And we're just gonna <laughs> by all these guards. So, um, you don't have to go to this town, but I'm just showing it off. Um, show where you gotta get the, uh, get all the, the X's there to show up the, to where, this is basically how you get, uh, um, the old man, uh, to show up on your map. And, uh, we'll be getting, uh, a few extra stuff, um, while we're in town here. Um... Uh, I will say, uh, one thing I forgot to do, um, while I was in here, um, before I g go to our first dungeon, uh, I actually forgot to get the, uh, the fish net, and, um, that, that would have been helpful, um, to get, uh, uh, like, fairies to help revive me if I ever die. Uh, but thankfully, I, I don't, uh, I don't die, so... If you see me struggling, just <laughs> just stay, don't freak out. But uh, we're gonna go in here, and uh, uh, there we're gonna be getting some uh, pieces of heart here. We're actually gonna get uh, a full container. Um, I think it's by the time we get to uh, the first dungeon there. And uh, as you can see here, you got a little puzzle here, and uh, I actually do it on the first try here. And this is how you can get them all in one shot. And it's just money. And that crack up on the uh, top uh, wall right there, that's something that you can blow up. Um, with bombs. Uh, we don't have any bombs just yet. I actually don't go to it, um... Actually, yeah, I, I actually uh, will have to remember to go go get that uh, the next time I do my recording. But uh, anyways, uh, here's this guy. Uh, you need at least 100 rubies to get this uh, this uh, bottle here. Um, there's actually two bottles that you can get in town. Uh, the, the other one is in uh, a long building that you go in the back. And... Uh, And that's that's how you can get uh, a few bottles early on and uh, that little shack that you just saw down there I, I couldn't get in there I, I was I kind of messed up a bit and thought I could go down there but uh, you actually need to go down here to get some bombs right here and um, that's actually where you can get the introduction to the bombs uh, and that, uh, <laughs> finicky menus. Uh, if you blow up this wall right here, um, there will be a piece of heart in here. And, uh, a little bit of money as well. There's our first piece of heart, uh, for our container. And uh, the way that the heart container the heart container works is you need at least four to increase your um, your heart uh, meter there. So um, you know it, it keeps track on you. It tells you how many you got. So but anyways, we're gonna go back to this uh, shack here, and uh, we're actually gonna put a bomb there. And uh, what I'm actually gonna be doing here is. Uh, you can actually go in and out of this place to um, refill your your bombs there, so you don't have to go to the shop and buy some. And um, I believe I only go up to like only nine, which right now the max is ten. Um, there will be a uh, a fountain later uh, that you can um, put a hundred rubies in, and you can increase either your bombs or your arrows and I will be doing that later um, and I will be maxing 
um, that out through through the, uh, the thing there. So anyways, uh, if you talk to this kid, he will actually tell you um, where the old man is, and the ex uh, will be um, in the right area now. And I, I just went in here just to show the shop. Um, I don't need to do anything. Um, so this long building right here, um, if you go in the back, uh, there is a chest right here, and if you open that up, you get your second, uh, second, uh, magic bottle there. Uh, it can be your first one if you just wanted to go to that and don't want to pay the hundred, uh, right now if you don't have any. So, um, so don't worry about, you know, dishing out the 100 there. You can just get that one and that should be enough. Uh, I, I don't show it off, but there, there is a house in here that, you're, that uh, you need a bottle. Um, the little kid in there will give you the fishnet if you got the, uh, um, if you got a bottle. If you don't have any, he won't give it to you, so. Make sure you get that before you go to the uh, the first dungeon there, like I accidentally did not do. <laughs> so, I am... Uh, let's see, where am I going here? I think I am going uh, the long way around. Um, so, there, there was the, um, the blue guys there, um, like I mentioned in the first part there, uh, this is, uh, the one of their, um, variations with the sword. Uh, they don't come in the, um, uh, the wooden knife thing there, they only come in the, uh, the pursue longsword ones, and these guys are here for the bows. And you actually do get arrows from, uh, those arrow guys if you kill them. And, um, and, uh, these guys, uh, throwing the rocks here, they're, they're not too hard to defeat, you know. Um, but as you can see there, you can get some decent money there if you wanted to farm. But, um, uh, money will not really be an issue because, um, you'll be getting a lot of, there, there's a lot of chests out there that, uh, if you find, find them, uh, because they're hidden, uh, you, you gotta... Uh, you, you'll get uh, some really good money. Like um, I think even in here, where we're going right now, uh, the thing in the back door here, there's actually um, I believe it's 50 rubies, and it's like there you go. <laughs> there's that. More bombs. Oh, it's a hundred. No, two fifties. So, this is the old man that we uh, need to talk to, and uh, he will say that uh, we need to go into the nearby dungeon to retrieve um, the Pendant of Courage, and uh, that will prove to him that uh, you are on your course to, uh, yeah, which one do I pick? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, it, it, uh, that would just show, uh, the old man, uh, that, uh, you're on your way to, uh, becoming the hero of, of legend and the one that will, uh, try to obtain the Master Sword. So, these, uh, these statue guys, uh, will come alive when you get relatively close to them, um... I believe these guys are weak to the uh, bow and arrow, which we don't have, but we will be getting in this dungeon. And, uh... So, this dungeon uh, that we're going to um, is actually really easy. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it, it's to be expected for, you know, your first dungeon there, so it's like... <laughs> Like, what are you gonna do? So, so as you can see, uh, I, I'm going. I went in here with practically nothing in my uh, my bottle, my bottles there to, you know, catch me. But, but oh well. So as you saw, those um, 
pressure plates there that that was to open the door there uh, if you see there there are will there will be some uh, fake ones but um, the right ones will open doors and such but uh, if you go around over here like I'm doing uh, there's actually a neat little chest here that will give you a really good amount of money uh, and uh, Right now, I'm <laughs> I got quite a lot of money, and uh, I actually don't use my money as often um, during this part there. So I, I I'm not if I'm not mistaken not mistaken I do believe I actually max out my money here. I'm not sure, but um, I do eventually max out my money, and um, I, I uh, will be using that all that money to uh, get the, the flippers so that I can swim. And uh, we'll be, probably be getting that in a later part, so... Um, yeah, we won't be getting that right now. So, I went down uh, this right path there. That's not the, the correct way to go down, but um, during, going this way, you can, um, you can get you the... Uh, I think it's the map? Yeah, it's the map. And uh, this is where the map... Uh, item is in this dungeon. Uh, you don't have to get these. Um, I mean, this dungeon is pretty straightforward. There's no like, you know, tough thinking that you gotta you gotta do. And as you can see in the center room right there, uh, there's the big big chest there, and uh, we need the big key to get in there, and that's where the uh, bow and arrow is at. And. Um, so in this room here, uh, oh, kind of weird happened. Like I was like, "What's going on? How come they are not appearing?" And I threw the thing there like that, and I somehow hit one. So, eh. uh, just use the pots here to uh, destroy them quickly. Um, the the bone uh, enemies there, they they tend to jump away, and uh, some of them actually, I think there's the um, the red colored ones, uh, they jump and throw uh, bones at you, so when you come across them, kind of be careful. So, uh, we can't, um... We can't uh, go in uh, up at the top there, and uh, we can't get that chest there, so um, we have to go to the right over here. And um, we're going to be getting the uh, the uh, big key here in a little bit. Uh, of course, we got to traverse through uh, some dark, dark areas here. So uh, in this room, uh, there's just a few uh, skeletons, and um, I believe I think there's only skeletons, yeah. And uh, only there. You gotta be careful when you go in and out of this room, because uh, when you go into that room and then come back out, those things that are going around they actually stay put. They don't like reset. So just kind of be careful there. Um, so we're kind of going past the, uh, first, first room there. Now, this room, um, there is actually a speedrun tactic to where if you get hit and you, ch and, uh, try to pick up the pot that's, uh, around those things, uh, um, pick up the pot there that those, um, spinny things are going around. Uh, you can actually uh, pick that up and activate the little uh, switch underneath it um, early. Um, but you're supposed to do like I did there, just to show it off that you're supposed to get rid of the enemies. So there's the big key. And um, so now we can get uh, now we can get the, uh, the bow and arrow, which is just a few rooms ahead. And... Um, So as soon as you uh, open this chest here, um, there will actually be some um, skeletons that will kind of jump in. And um, 
uh, their heads will come off and try to hit you, but I wouldn't worry about them. Just kind of quickly go up here. If you drop down those uh, those pots that are on the side there, um, that will drop you down to um, a room to where you can, um, if you did get the uh, the fish net, that you can um, uh, you can get some uh, fairies uh, to help uh, revive you if you need it. Uh, but I don't need it. Uh, I did just fine. Uh, if you go in this right room here, uh, there's actually a room with a little bit of rubies here, and uh, uh, if you light the, the torches in the other room, uh, this room will be more lit so you can see. Uh, I can't remember how many rubies are in there, I think it's probably like 50 or something like that, I don't know, it's maybe even more than that. So, uh... Actually, looking at the, the spinny things there, um, you can act, later on, um, you'll be able to get this uh, item called the magic powder, and if you use it on those things, uh, they actually turn into fairies, uh, which is actually pretty cool. So, um, if you have the uh, the magic powder on you, um, you know, use, uh, a good way to deal with them is to sprinkle the... Um, magic powder on them and uh, that will turn them into something useful. Um, just a little 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 tip there. So anyways, uh just got gotta gotta just defeat these guys here. And um uh, these uh these red ones here uh, you've probably seen them before but um uh, those ones you have to use the uh, the uh, the air uh, bow and arrow to destroy them because uh, they're impervious to your normal attacks, and uh, it only takes uh, two arrows. And uh, they're they're really not that hard. Um, So here we go. Here's the boss uh, for this dungeon, and uh, you're supposed to use the uh, bow and arrow. And really, just um, this spam—not really spam it too much, but you know, if you aim it really good. You can um, get them down really good. Um, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's like five per one. I don't know, but. Let's see, you get to the last one, you get, you see the, the red one, uh, the one turns red and goes faster. But here we go, we got the pendant, and, uh, that's, this is the, uh, end of the last part there, so I will see you guys in the next one.